Okay, I'm motivated. Okay, you guys, I started my day with a six mile run, and now I just got back and I'm doing this light ab workout. So I started with a minute of plank, and I followed that with a minute of um, oblique twist planks. And then a minute of hip thrusters, which I don't like doing in public. But yeah, I'll throw that on the internet, that's fine. And then I did, well, did some other stuff. And now I'm doing mountain climbers. Mountain climbers are really good um, for your obliques. And then the elevated plank, for me, it burns all down the shoulders, the lower abs. I hate them and love them. Muay Thai push-ups. At the end, I actually do a demo and I kind of talk about what makes them so amazing. And then I just finish up with some light crunches. Usually after this, I'll continue and do um, V-sit. Uh, v twists, um, a lot of other things, leg lifts, um, leg raises where you actually lift your butt off the ground, those are good, and that's about it for my light ab though, but if you were feeling ambitious after your morning cardio, go for it, do more. Okay. First thing I did was plank did plank. All of this I did for a minute. That's why I sped it up so it wasn't horrible to watch. Um, I did plank and then I did plank oblique twist. That's where I'm just rotating my my hips. And then I did hip thrust which I hate. I hate doing them at the gym because it's completely embarrassing. You're basically thrusting your hips towards the floor but what you're doing is you're curling in your hips towards your abs and it's completely painful and works great. Works great for your abs, embarrassing. Uh, following that, I did plank knees to elbows or I found out they're also called alligator crawls because there's alligator push-ups and that's when you move your hands but they're just planks so a plank alligator crawl I guess but I like plank knees to elbows it's when I'm in the static hold and on the outside of my body I bring my knee up and try basically to hit my elbow and then I did mountain climbers that's when you're in the uh, static push-up position and you are bringing your left leg to your right elbow and vice versa. I did elevated plank on the ball. My ball wasn't as pumped up. It works better if your ball is pumped um, so that you have a solid surface. Well, I guess it's more challenging if the ball is deflated. Um, after that, I did Hindu push-ups, and I'm actually going to film myself giving a demo on Hindu push-ups because Hindu push-ups are full body workout and they're amazing. Um, I kinda just started doing them about a year ago and they're really really great. Um, after that I did your classic raised leg um, forward crunches and the most important thing I can say about that is get your shoulders as high off the ground as you can and then I didn't rest in between so I did a minute of that and then I did a minute of side crunches so I bring my right shoulder to my left knee and vice versa um, and then I just did side crunches I'd call them where I lie completely on one side of my body and I crunch in my whole body and my legs and that's what I did so here's the clip for the Hindu push-ups they're great I'm gonna do the Hindu push-up demo for you right now and let's see if I can do this because I just did bicep at the gym. Okay. You're going to try to keep a perfect military push-up stance. 
with your arms shoulder width apart. You can, depending on who you've learned it from, you can separate your feet more or you can actually keep them together. Downward facing dog to cobra. Alright, it's a really great exercise for your rotator cuff. Alright, and down. One more. Try to make the um, the position change as smooth as possible. Okay guys, so I have this like crazy swole going right now and I hope that demo, you can see the last Hindu push up I did was actually correct and you have to come down and make a nice smooth transition from the um, push up stance, come down and then push back. It should be as smooth as possible and that's the Hindu push up. I didn't really say much but it's um, a great new I'd like to say because I didn't know anything about it before a year ago it's um great for your your delts and your chest um, it doesn't work them separately it actually brings them together which makes for a stronger muscle and um, it's a great workout and I recommend it and tomorrow is challenge day four and I've already filmed some stuff so I'm definitely posting um, and I want to talk about, tomorrow I'm going to talk about planning your week, plan your workout, and always give yourself a cheat day. I think that's really important because any time when you're trying to eat healthy, whether you're on a diet or just trying to have a, like a better lifestyle, um, because if you don't have the cheat day, then once you blow your diet, you're done. You basically have quit your diet and if you give yourself the cheat day you're like okay I had my one bad day you know tomorrow I gotta start strong and I really believe in that and I'm gonna talk more about that tomorrow okay bye guys stay fit